Hi everyone, this is Firoz from Magnetus IT Academy. So in this video, we are going to look at editable grids available in Dynamics 365. In fact, as you know, editable grids is one of the uh, new feature released in the uh, Dynamics 365. Okay, so it's basically allow you to do inline editing within your views as well as subgrids. Right? So uh, in Dynamics uh, CRM 2016 and prior version, if you want to edit a particular record, what you're supposed to do, you just need to go to your view just open up that particular record, lead or conduct or account, then you just uh, make the changes to that value and save it. Then you come back, if you want to do the same operation on few other records, you need to repeat the same procedure, right? So what inline editing in uh, editable groups allows you to directly edit those values right from within your view or from the subject. You don't need to open up the record and do that. So life is much easier now. So let's see how we can do it in uh, Dynamics 365. So let's log in. Log on to your uh, Dynamics 365 account. Then navigate to settings and customizations. Okay. Customize your system. So that will take you to the default solution. Navigate to lead entity. There it is. It's opened. Just click on the lead node, which will open up the properties for the lead entity. And go to controls. So here you can see there is a control named Microsoft Dynamics 365 Read Only Grid. That's a default one, which is enabled as default for web, phone, and tablet. Right? And here you have an option to add a new control. Just click on add control. So here you get a few controls like calendar control, editable grid, and timeline control. So what we are interested here is editable grid. So just click on it and click add. So you, here you can see a few features as editable grid here. You can set them up or you can just leave them. So what is basically doing here? This is nothing but a grid view. There is just giving an option to add a lookup. For example, you can just set up from which view you have to use here. I'm just going to call open leads. Then here you can just say which are the available fields on this uh, open leads view where you can have a lookup. So here you can see there is no lookup field. So wherever you have lookups, those fields will be available. Those columns with lookup will be available here so that you can have lookups available on your editable grids. So let's leave that for now. Okay, we just make it enable and we can set it up as default view for verb, phone and tablet and just click save. So if you want to remove this editable subgrid or any other control, Sometime in the future, you can just click on this uh, close button and remove it and save and publish it. So that's gone. So now this is the default one. So we are just updating the entity so that we can see the changes difference now. So let's navigate to the leads view, sales. And leads now you can see the normal use over here and let's refresh the page Okay, so now it hasn't taken effect yet. So what you are seeing here is nothing but the standard views. Once uh, editable grids is uh, enabled, then you can see the difference here. So let's publish once again. Okay, and come back and refresh your page. Here we go. Now you can see the differences comes up here. I have open uh, my open leads view here. Then you can see a group by option here. So there is no grouping selected at the moment. Okay, let's now we get to another view where we have more records. I'm just navigate all leads. 
So here you can see group by. So here you can select based on which field the grouping has to be done. I am just going to select as topic. So now you can see the grouping has been done here based on the topic. Same way you can do for other fields, owner. Yep. Based on owner, you can see under Firos we have three leads, under Jamie we have one lead, and Molly we have two leads. Right? Same thing you can do for status reason. How many leads are Qualify, how many leads are open, how many leads are new. Cool. Pretty good, isn't it? So there we can do the uh, filtering and not only that, now you can click on this and you can see uh, you can do the filtering right here. So show items that match these values. You can just equal to names equal to you can just give some name. For example, Tamir Sala. So you just click on it. And just say name contains. You can see you can do the filter here itself. Let's clear it so you can see all the values. Now the editable option or the inline editable option comes here. Right? If I just need to change the topic here, you can just say interested in our product. Now you can just save it. Just just press the tab so that it will be saved and which all the fields which we cannot change such as the name, the owner, status reason there you can see the log field which you cannot update just all other fields you can update right. so that's how you will enable uh, editable gradient dynamics 365